God bless you. We are out today in the old nature. You see what I see? I see God's creation everywhere I look. I see the ground. I ain't got a clue how it's made, but God made that. I see the grass that lives and exists. All these random plants and things about. And I see all that water. Now water comes in, it comes out as it wills. And it will keep doing that. Because God made everything. I see animals down there living in unison with the ground. Doing their day to day. This is all God. Everything here you see exists because of God. And if you go and say, oh, well, I can see that fence there. Well, guess what? God made the wood so that fence could be made in the first place. God made the man so he could build the fence. You see the machinery in the distance. God made everything that we were able to extract to make the machinery in the first place. Everything goes back to God. He is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Blessed be the Lord. Amen. Now, this... I don't know if you can hear the birds singing, but I can, and it's peaceful. I can see horses in the distance, and I can feel the wind blow, and I can breathe and feel my lungs fill with air, and that's all because of God. So I'm eternally grateful. Blessed be the Lord for all he shows me and all he does for me. Beautiful flowers, beautiful nature, all of God's creation as it should be and I walk humbled by every piece of it for I never ever took nor contemplated it every different colour plus the fact that my eyes can differentiate every colour the same way as I can taste and smell I give thanks for my ability to taste and smell I give thanks for the ability to walk I give thanks for the use of my arms. I give thanks for not living in pain and agony. I give thanks for having lungs that breathe and work. I give thanks for the sky above and the clouds in it. I don't understand them, but I am grateful for them. For all of it is by you. Every little piece of science that man Desires to speak of was all created by God. Remember, there's nutrients in the soil. When the nutrient depletes, it needs new nutrient. God made all that so that it could keep recycling itself in. By that, I'm speaking of nature. As it biodegrades down into itself, what you may know as compost, as a simple way of doing it, everything continues. God created a peaceful world, but man in his rebelliousness ended up sinning against God, deceived by the first lie, and then Cain, the first murder, and everything else is history, as we all know. The world has gone from so many different experiences, like a puff of smoke, it is gone. And people are doomed to repeat the past lest they learn from God. Understanding God's greatness and his goodness. We pray and ask for God above, O Abba. Lead us in this day that we follow you ever faithfully. That you guide and strengthen our hearts. Fill our cup, O Lord, to brimming. Overfill my heart with the Holy Spirit. That I may do that which you delight. May I live lovingly and peaceably, doing that which is good in your eyes. I only speak as you will and wish. May I find peace and comfort in all that you show me. My heart overflows with abundance from your grace. Blessed be your holy name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May your will be done in my life. May I live according to you and not myself. For without you I am capable of nothing. But with you all things are possible. I trust in you. I put my faith in you. I look to you for all guidance and all counsel. May I always be humble and low. As lowly as I am. 
for this earth is your footstool and you graciously let a worm such as I am live upon it. You have shown me right from wrong and I have turned from my wicked ways. Lead me in your paths of righteousness. Write your laws on my heart that I may willingly follow. May I learn every day and grow every day ever closer to you, Father, as you lead me. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Thank you for the sacrifice of your life because of my sins. Thank you for taking the punishment that I no less deserve for all that I have done in my old ungodly ways. I can never change what is done, but my gratitude is immeasurable. I can't thank you enough. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus, for all you do. Guide us in these ways, for you are the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except for through the Son. So may we come to you, O Abba, boldly and faithfully crucifying the flesh, seeking you, your wisdom, your understanding, your teaching, your guidance. Lead your flock, O Lord. Lead us to you as we faithfully seek your understanding and teachings and not our own. Reveal to that which we do not understand. Humble us, strengthen us, rebuke us and chastise us when we are wrong that we may learn from it and turn from it. Keep strengthening, keep guiding us. I thank you and praise you for your kingdom is all the glory, all the power, all the goodness. Jesus is my template. As we renounce ourselves and ask to pick up our cross and follow you, dedicating our lives to you, may we be baptized in water and spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This is nature. Blessed be the Lord. Amen. This is the world. As it should have been, just the nature. I don't mean the buildings and the fences you can see. Uh, this. This is where I like to be. With all of God's creation. So much easier to pray when you're here and away from the city. And all the things known as entertainment. And entertainment isn't love. It's occupy yourself from love occupy yourself from doing good occupy yourself from learning occupy yourself from growing the television gets in the way of the relationship that's why i always say don't watch it and the more things you learn about the corruption of the world the more things that you will cast away from you as you grow in your relationship with god out here is but peace, seeking God's wisdom and his guidance. The world is full of filthy music and corruption, TV, video games and everything else. But it's all about seeking self and enjoying oneself, doing what one likes. But just as the gates of hell will ne are unfilled and always hungry for more, so is the godless life. Always seeking something else to entertain to fill the void, to fill the gap. And the devil has an abundance of sin to give people. It's almost like you think you're getting a good thing with all the sins we partake of. But it's like the hunter who sticks the sword in the ice, in the snow, and the wolf comes. And the wolf licks the blade, for the hunter has put blood upon the blade, and the wolf smells the blood on the blade, and he licks it. And he tastes the blood, but of course he slices his own tongue. And he's like, mmm, I taste good things, but really he's killing himself. The same thing with us and sin. We think we're getting a good thing with the sins that we're doing and enjoying the sins that we're doing. But really we're killing ourselves. And we're breaking God's heart while we do it. That is the power of sin. It leads to death. Love leads to life and obedience. 
The same as a child that loves a father and a mother will obey their parent because they love them. And the parent will teach and chastise that child because they love the child. Same thing with us and God. And that's what we forgot and that's what people don't realise. People have forgotten that God isn't about putting on your Sunday best and spending an hour or two sitting down on a pew. It's about a relationship, getting to know God. And this is everything God creates. Be humbled by it. Realise his greatness and thank him for it. Seek him and his goodness. Let him strengthen you as you walk with him, learning his ways, reading his words, trusting in him and praying, seeking to know him. Ask for his will in your life. Ask him what is the perfect will of God that I may happily follow. When we struggle against our sins, we pray to God to give us the strength that they were removed from us so we no longer struggle with them. Baptism washes away all of it and we leave it at the foot of the cross. For we died in our baptism, we rose again with Jesus. And as we rise again with Jesus, we will live with Jesus. So we can't go back to sin. There's no desire for it, no want of it. Look at Romans chapter 6, Romans chapter 8. How can we imagine to consider going back to it in Hebrews chapter 10 from verse 26 onwards? About those that know sin and intentionally go to it after tasting the Holy Spirit and knowing all that it has to give. We have to wake up from the world. The television is the slumber and the poison and it leads to the pit. But God leads to life. Seek your Father. Call upon Him in Jesus' name. Let Him lead and guide. Learn from Jesus for His yoke is light. Seek His goodness. Put the kingdom first and His righteousness and seek them wholeheartedly. Not half-heartedly, but wholeheartedly. Let God be the first thing when you wake, the last thing at night. And as you go to your work or your day-to-day -day business and chores, let God be in your heart while you do every single one of them. Giving thanks, being joyous as you do them, not feeling it laborious, for it's the blessing of God that you can do what you do. For all is given and taketh away as the Lord dictates. Blessed be God. Let him guide you and strengthen you and lead you to living waters. Let God be in your heart evermore. May you find peace this day, praising Him and seeking Him. Rejoice in God, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Praise Him, just spend time just being humbled, just giving simple gratitude to God, letting Him know how thankful you are for what you have, for what He does for you. Thanking him for Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And there will be trials and tribulations. But be of good cheer. For Jesus overcame the world. And abiding in him we will overcome our trials and our tribulations. For we rest our lives in Christ. Whether we meet him with our heads or not. What does it matter? Live or die faithful, but as long as it is faithful. Who knows when he comes? But I know I'll be the faithful servant whenever that day may be. And may I be kept humble that I stay faithful forevermore. Not losing my way with the world. Blessed be God and all he does for us. May you find peace this day. You enjoy all the nature as I ramble on in devotion and thanks to God. This is just walking in peace, looking at all that God brings and builds. And inside that water there, there's life. I can't see it, but there's fish in there, loads of them. And down there I can see, I believe, sheep or cows, one of the two. And down that way, horses. 
just below here insects of all sorts that i'm treading upon there's life everywhere we just don't see it until we realize it we forget to give thanks for it god is an amazing god and a loving god and we thank you and praise you for all you do blessed be your holy name deliver us O lord from the wiles of the evil one and deliver us from all temptations bring peace into our hearts and let your face shine upon us guide us and strengthen us O father for you are our refuge you are the good shepherd and you lead me to green pastures and you lead me to living waters i will not fear though i walk through this through the valley of death for you are with me all that is coming is coming rejoice in the coming of god and pray for him to come quickly the world is wholly evil and all these things that are happening all the things on that television are to bring people to fear and not to God to trust in man and not the Lord they are so arrogant in their ways there's no humility no love in them seek the Lord in all things don't trust in, de in deceit and corruption of power for as it was they were the rich merchants and they deceived all the world and the nations with their sorcery be wise as serpents but innocent as doves love one another pray for one another upbuild and uplift one another in these trying times love one another as i have loved you as what jesus said and that is what we should always be striving to ever do may we humbly and faithfully grow in our understanding may the Holy Spirit work wonderfully and greatly in every one of us may we be able to speak as boldly as we ought as we let the Spirit work through us praise be unto God don't quench the Spirit let it work through you and guide you and strengthen you be at peace, knowing God is by your side every step of the way. For the struggles of the world are real. But God is far greater than this world. Trust in him. Be renewed in the spirit, seeking his wisdom and guidance. Live for the Lord. This was but a short devotional to work together peacefully lovingly and humbly for our father in heaven may we all rejoice in god and all he does for us god bless every one of you be at peace with the lord oh abba take care of your flock give me strength to do that which is right and to live pleasing to you keep me humble and low don't let me seek for myself care for your flock in Jesus name we give thanks Amen God bless <laughs>